Welcome to this video on how to choose a database management system. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video I'm going to show you how to select which database management system will work best for your particular project. My concern is about data warehousing and I'll explain a little bit about that in just a moment. But there are all sorts of other reasons why you might want to select the right database management system for your particular task. There are two types of database management system. First is the small scale type database management system. So that's something like, say, Access or LibreOffice's uh, base. These are meant for either small organizations or small projects that are going to be quick and easy to set up. However, these small systems suffer from a couple of handicaps. First, they may be slower. They're slower because all sorts of other things have to be added in to ensure that the user has the easiest time possible. Secondly, there may be a limit on the number of concurrent logins that this particular system can have. For example, in Access it used to be the case that you could only have five concurrent logins. Now that doesn't mean five people connected in a program to the database in some way, but it does mean that you have to be able to say conclusively you're not going to have five people reading or writing from the same database at the same point in time. And that may be a consideration for your particular task. If you're using a small scale system like this, you don't need to know much about SQL because there's always a front end that will do all the clever stuff for you. However, with a large scale system, you do need to know about SQL. Systems such as Microsoft SQL Server and MySQL mean that you have to be able to use SQL properly. If you're not into using SQL properly yet, well, maybe the small-scale systems would be a good place to start with the project and then maybe migrate to the large-scale system later on. Regardless of which of these systems you choose, there are several things you have to be aware of. First is the operating system under which you'll be using your database. The Microsoft products, funnily enough, only work with Microsoft products. So, Microsoft Windows, Microsoft NT, that sort of thing. Whereas the other systems, such as LibreOffice Base and MySQL, will work under any system. It will work under Windows or under Linux and so on. And that can be useful to know when you're putting stuff on the internet, because most of the internet uses Linux. And Linux will only work with MySQL, LibreOffice Base and so on. Another consideration is that you need to be able to migrate data between one database and another, even if you're in one particular system. So if you're trying to create a data warehouse, you'll probably want to be able to move data from one stage to the next, filtering it down as you go, and you need a program to do that. This means that you need to be good enough at programming to be able to use databases in an application. So if you are using, say, Java, you have to have got your Java to a level where you can manipulate databases. And that also requires a knowledge of SQL, unfortunately. So, the things to consider. Do you want small scale or large scale? Do you want Windows or Linux? And then, how are your programming skills? And that will determine which database management system you choose. Here's a table to show you what I mean. 